so excited to talk with you guys about this movie. So congratulations on the world premiere being here at the Vancouver International Film Festival. Thank I'm, you. I'm Thank sure you guys are super excited about that. Yes, <laughs> for sure. Nice, nice, nice. Um, just from your own words, I guess, you want to give kind of a synopsis of what the film is about. Um, and I don't know, uh, maybe we can start with you, Cardi. I mean, you're the main character here. The boy, the boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Golden Delicious is a coming-of-age story of a young Asian-American teen uh, being pulled every which way by expectations from his family, from his friends, and from himself. And yeah, it's just about the discovery of himself and self-love. And figuring it all out like the rest of us are. Yeah, very cool. Parmis, do you have anything that you'd like to, to add to the synopsis? Or I maybe feel like how Cardi your character... really... Yeah. Really got like a <laughs> 9 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, there. yeah, yeah. I think you got it. Very cool. Well, let's talk about your characters a little bit, Cardi. Of course, you play the main character, Jake. Um, and you were just saying in the synopsis he's being pulled different different ways. Can you talk a little bit more about the conflicts that he is dealing with in the film? Yeah, yeah. So he's... I mean, the main thing is kind of expectations from all around him. Um you know, him and his girlfriend, Val, played by Parmas, uh, she's ready to kind of move the next, the relationship into the next kind of intimacy, level of intimacy. And I mean, for all of us going through that stuff, we can all kind of relate as to how, how just scary it can be, how unknown it can be. And so that's one aspect. And then the other one um, is his dad's expectations, which we can also, yeah. I mean, like parents and what they want from us and their kind of missed dreams they they put it on us they put the expectations on us and so his dad wants him to finally make it to the basketball team it's his last year to do so and so he's making him train more he's making it very hard on him and then that really changes when he meets alex played by chris the boy next door who who also happens to play basketball and so he kind of finally finds a love for for the sport and meeting through him and how he's able to be so proudly himself yeah, very yeah. cool. Parmas, talk a little bit about your character, Valerie. Tell me more. I mean, we touched a little bit on her relationship with uh, with Jake, but just from your own perspective, what is uh, what is Valerie's role in this uh, in this whole story? Totally, yeah. So uh, Valerie is a young woman in her last year of high school, and she is a woman that knows what she wants, <laughs> and she loves her boyfriend dearly, and I think she just... Uh, has the expectation that she's going to have a fantastic, you know, senior year of high school. Um, and then that kind of all goes a bit awry. Um, but yeah, I think she's a super relatable young woman. Um, I think it's really easy to uh, judge her on the outside when you first see her. <laughs> but but I think it's really understandable because I think a lot of teens are are searching for the same thing. They want that um, confidence, they want community, they want to feel included and loved. And I think um, one of the ways that young people go about that is through social media and validation, like external validation. So I think Val is, is one of those girls and you know, she knows what she wants. She's getting ready for university and she just wants people to like her. <laughs> I think it's I think it's a, a, a person we all know. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And she's super bubbly, super fun to be around and just yeah. like, yeah, very, uh, very fun personality. <laughs> Chris. Hey. You play Alex, the boy next door. <laughs> yes, the boy next door. <laughs> Tell me about his role in this whole narrative here. Alex is, uh, he's the new kid in town and uh, he was moved to the city through his parents. Uh, he's kind of finding his way and he meets the boy next door, mm -hmm. right across. She's a girl next door. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, they form a really cute relationship. Mm -hmm. And I think with Jake, he finds a little piece of who Alex started, mm -hmm. where he started, and he sees the hurt in Jake that maybe other people don't see. And so it's a relationship that he's careful about, but it's something that he's passionate about because he wants to help Jake. And he's also, you know, maybe finds a little bit of feelings for Jake as well. Yeah. So he's finding his way, finding his way into the new school, learning who the bullies are and figuring out how he can help Jake and, and make Ronald uh, eat his words. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that's funny um there are a lot of themes in this movie there's a, a lot of uh different things going on that, like you're talking about with expectations um it's interesting bullying is a big subject that comes up in the film um talk more about who uh do you think and maybe we'll start with you um who you think this this movie is made for and how you want it to resonate with that audience yeah golden delicious it is really a movie about like love in its purest form mm -hmm. and i don't mean love for it just for everyone else just for your family but i mean for yourself mm -hmm. it's self-love it's it's about bravery to show yourself in your true colors and of course that's like the scariest thing anyone who has been keeping themselves kind of sheltered you know is for for so long so yeah this is for everyone who doesn't really feel like they fit in and for anyone who feels like life can be a bit messy and un un uncomfortable and i think this film really does reflect that and it's also about like the arts too you know like jake has his photography it's about it's not just about this and that it's about everything in between that you love and that you resonate with yeah you know that makes you you <laughs> for sure um parvis i'm interested in knowing uh when it comes to your character because i mentioned about how fun and bubbly she is and you seem fun and bubbly as well um <laughs> just a little bit just a little <laughs> but i do wonder like how much of your character do you feel like you personally related to and like tell me more about like preparing for this role or getting into character like how did that process work for you and and, and how much parallel was there between your character and, and you totally so i think um when i first encountered v there was a lot of stuff that I didn't find that I, I related to very much, but I think like with every character that I approach, it is about finding that humanity, even if it's just like one like ounce of connection and then kind of broadening that like from, from that kernel of, of truth or connection. And I think uh, some of the ways in which I see myself in Val is um, <clears throat> her preparedness. She has a plan for everything. You know, she's got a plan for an apartment she wants to live in. She's got a plan for a university she wants to go to. She's got a plan to prepare for her boyfriend when he doesn't uh, fill out his application in time. Uh, so that kind of stuff, I definitely relate to. Um, but I, yeah, th there's I think um, a lot of differences as well. I, um, and maybe maybe I could have related to Val when I was closer to um like my like adolescent years and thankfully didn't have social media at that time you know in the same way um but yeah i think just finding that kernel of truth yeah yeah that's where i went from absolutely very cool yeah that was, that was really interesting when she was like you got to get the application done i like immediately was like i will I, i'll get it done i'll get it done as soon as we're done this interview <laughs> And when you don't, I do have it semi-filled out for you. Yeah, you just yeah, need yeah. to sign. Just sign here. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Um, with uh, your character, um, Chris, he has a lot of confidence. Uh, he's a very, very uh, confident character. And I guess I want to know kind of a similar question. How did that, was that something also that you had parallels with? Or is that something that you had to kind of find and figure out to uh, to have that come across because I think you did such a great job with with portraying that confidence. I mean, there, there are some scenes in, in the movie that's just like super confident, the locker room scene in particular, um, that, that is very entertaining. But yeah, tell me more about exploring your character and the confidence that, uh, that, uh, that, you're, that Alex has. Well, that was one thing that I really loved uh, was when Jason and Gorman presented this character to me that he had this ability to take what he viewed bullying as and and put his own strength on it mm -hmm. in a different way that wasn't just the confident punch in the face or like the, the fight right away it was something that made them uneasy and almost tested their own individuality ronald especially and so that was a lot of fun for me um i think growing up we were all i mean in some way bullied in high school and so for alex i think through his heartbreak and through what he'd experienced in younger years, he wanted to take a stand, be his indiv own individual person. And so when he saw bullying happen again to a young boy that maybe he related to in his past, he felt like he had to do something. He had to stand up and say something um, because it brought him to a dark place and he didn't want to see that happen to Jake. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. 
Yeah, and I think that there's a there, there's a lot that that um, these characters have to offer audiences, and that I think people hopefully will be able to see themselves in these characters that you guys are playing, and and that there's there's something that resonates with uh, with audiences, especially here in Vancouver, because it very prominently takes place here in Vancouver, which yeah. is uh, which I appreciate. Um, <laughs> So anyway, just um, final statements here as we come to a close. I just want to know uh, if there's anything that you think audiences should know as um, if they're interested or want to approach this film. Uh, and we'll start with you. Yeah, I mean, Golden Delicious is just like a, it's a marvelous slice of life film. Um, it is, it does, it's a feel good film, but it doesn't get there until you kind of go through all the bumps and bruises. And we're not trying to avoid those, you know, warts and everything, we, we want to have them, but it's also an essential and beautiful part of our life and our community and, you know, all of us as like a oneness. Absolutely. Yeah. Promise anything for you? Yeah, I think just reiterating a lot of what's already been mentioned, but I think Golden Delicious is just a really beautiful film about belonging and um, it's a very Canadian film and that makes me really proud as well. Yeah. That's awesome. Chris, anything you have? Yeah, I think it's a very unique indie that had a lot of passion go into it. Um, I love the story myself. I was excited to show up every day to set. And I think through that, we created something magical that people will enjoy. During COVID. During, yes, you guys did. You filmed that during COVID. <laughs> and then reshoots in the heat wave. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all just went through all the challenges. <laughs> That's awesome. Sorry, one more question. Do you guys actually play basketball? Did you know? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I think shooting is one thing. Everybody can pick up <laughs> shooting. and take. Oh. Ball handling yeah. comes with experience. And there's a swagger that you uh, attain you after a certain... <laughs> <laughs> she did all my basketball stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I requested a stunt double, but they wouldn't give it to me. <laughs> Just kidding. 